Hi, everybody. It's Faith from Fire Saint Tara. Hope everybody's well. Capricorn, it is finally time for your December reading. I apologize. I know I'm a couple of weeks behind. But uh, we're not going to go into that. Um, so I'm doing something special for December. I might keep doing it. I don't know. But for now, let's just call it your winter holiday gift from the universe. No matter what ho winter holiday you choose to honor. Okay. So I'm pulling a Wisdom Oracle and an Archangel Michael and a Crystal Power. And we will go over those at the end of the reading. See how well they fit in with the rest of the cards. This reading will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for December 2021. Still processing. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's December of 2021. Where did time go? I don't know. It's fluid anyway. I mean, some people would argue that it's a man-made construct and it doesn't really exist, but that's a topic for another video. Anyway, if it resonates with you, cool. If not, check your moon rising or Venus sign reading. See if those might resonate a little bit better for you. I'm just going to pull one if I don't want them to flop out. Mm. Again, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher and our dear friends the cross watchers are always welcome here at the fire sign tarot table everybody's always welcome at my table and i appreciate it when people stop by and say hello if you're new here think we might vibe and stuff you want to come back hang out more often that'd be super cool you can check the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when i upload if you're returning welcome back thanks for coming back by it's good to see you i'm not looking at it And of course, I flop and make a mess. It's fine. Stuff's always good for the blooper reel. Okay. We're gonna get one more from the Crystal Power that I feel like might be the... Oh, you got a twofer, okay. I always embarrass myself at least one reading, so I'm just going to roll with it. Oh gosh, where was I? Anybody can hit the like button at any time. It all helps the channel and it all helps the videos to be circulated to those who might need the messages. Okay, we got the moon and the lovers. Ooh. I trust my knowing and make a commitment. My intuition guides me to the right decision. These are both cards of choices. Some of y'all got a choice to make? Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see where it fits with the rest of the read. Never make a life-altering decision based on a tarot reading. P.S. <laughs> I don't care if they're my cards or anybody else's. And again, if it's not your story, just leave the cards on the table and walk away. Because it might not be your story. It's not going to fit with everybody. These readings are general, and that's why I tell you to go check out your other placements. Okay, a couple more shuffles, and I think we'll have it. Okay. Yeah, we're there. We're there. We're there. All right. Let's tip down. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for December 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with me today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring Capricorn to their highest possible spiritual good. Put them on their highest possible spiritual path. Ten of Pentacles. You got money in the bank, the big brick house, the white picket fence, the 2.5 kids, the dog, the nice car out front, the pool out back, the wraparound porch with the swing where you sip lemonade. Why are you here? Why do I feel like this uh, has something to do with a choice? Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Huh. That 
that's why. Something's missing, isn't it? I feel like some of y'all are sick of enjoying that big old house and that porch swing alone. Okay, well. Well, shit. There's a choice to be made, isn't there? I feel bad blood with somebody or something. See so you cutting communication off altogether. Moving on from something. Why is it happening? Oh, shoot. Capricorn. <sighs> Shit. The moon. My intuition guides me to the right decision. Smoke and mirrors. Lies and deception. Betrayal. Bad blood, cutoffs in communication. Oh shit, I need clarity. Out come the moon. <laughs> Make or break the two. Okay. Prince of Pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck. Somebody's coming back to apologize for something, and I don't see you being very accepting. Damn. I need clarity. Why do I feel like this has something to do with money? Talk to me about this Nine of Pentacles reversed. Emperor, Ten of Swords reversed. Well, that bloody changes things, doesn't it? Um, damn. Could be an Aries you're dealing with. Could be a control freak. One more. Conflict, five of wands, okay. Is there conflict going on in a home, in a marriage? Betrayal, backstabbing? I mean, that might, you know... Six of Cups reversed. What's with the bad blood? What's with the bad blood? King of Wands. Also a card of Aries. Mm-hmm. Also a control freak, or can be. Ten of Wands reversed, unable to release a burden. Two of Cups reversed to disconnect. Okay, it's coming together now. Shiitake mushrooms, guys. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, I feel like some of y'all might be letting something go. Damn, why is the Eight of Cups here? Seven of Cups reversed. Walking away from the confusion. Walking away from spilled cups, empty cups, not knowing what's in the cup. The world card allowing a cycle to end. Moving on, moving forward. Seven of Wands upright, two of Wands reversed. But now the <laughs> next the conflict is going to be internal. And you're going to question whether or not you should have walked away. Shit. Cap. Merry Christmas. Why is the Princess of Wands here? Reversed. The Tower and the Empress reversed. Queen of Pentacles reversed. That's the most narcissistic thing I've ever seen in my life. Sun reversed. Something. It's like the... That's an apology, not an apology. I want to come back. I want to make this right. But none of this was my fault. What? Let's go into why this happened. Why is the Ten of Swords reversed here? Two of Pentacles. Delayed ending. Five of Cups reversed, Six of Cups. Oh, back when things were still good and sweet and wonderful. <laughs> Avoiding the sadness by staying miserable. The back and forth. Why the Six of Swords reversed? Attention whore. This feels very round and round. It's like somebody that just keeps making an exit and coming back. Just to rub your nose in it. Like a dog, the dookie on the carpet. I want to make this right, but none of this was my fault. Why the seven of wands reversed? You finally got fed up. King of Swords, enough is enough. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. 
Enough is enough. I think you finally told somebody where they could shove their apology. But yet it just keeps going round and round. Why the moon for the outcome? Why the moon? Ace of Swords, Five of Swords. Could happen, finally finish going down around Pisces season. Finally stand up and do what's best for you and you move on to a new start, new thought process, a new way of thinking. The make or break is this two of cups reversed. Staying disconnected. Knight of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Cups reversed and the Devil. Page of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Oh my god. Yes, this is a, this is a powerful connection. But it's build your cup. Build your cup. I feel like this is a possibility. You might have something new coming in where solid foundations can eventually be built, but you have to stick with your guns with this connection that just keeps coming back to haunt you. You gotta stand up and do what's best for you, babies. Okay. Queen of Wands, I'm naturally creative. Some of you may have fire in your chart somewhere. Somebody needed that. Write about your thoughts and feelings. Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing, and healing. Just throwing this out there for somebody who might need to hear it. If you can write a soap opera about your situation, this might be telling you to do it. Just throwing that out there. And soulmates... Number 41, 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 is the numbers of change and contrast. Let's read number 41. You are meant to evolve and transform with the companionship of others. Certain people enter into your life in order to take you to the next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. It, all, it is always a reciprocal experience, although the results for each of you will vary. You know these people by the strong pull drawing, them to, drawing you toward them, and sometimes by a strong aversion to them initially too. Soulmates can be friends for life, or remain in your life only for a short time. No matter what, you will be changed in ways you can't possibly fathom now. Pay attention to these people today. They are your greatest gifts. Capricorn, holy crap. Wow. All right, guys, well, this is what the universe has for you this month. Hope it helped somebody. Be good to yourself. Know that you're loved and be blessed. 
I will catch you in a couple weeks for December round two. Take care. Peace, love, and light.